so excited that you can be here tonight uh, to share in uh, the first day that the show is up and open to the public. So I uh, wanted to talk a little bit, for those of you that aren't familiar, is familiar with the show, that the show is open to any artist in the Midwest, and what the artists do is think of a figure of speech, like the grass is always greener, or don't get your panties in an uproar, or something like that, and then create a fine artwork related to that figure of speech. Process, uh, there are entries that are sent in electronically, and so the judge or the juror goes through those. And in fact, the juror was in Seattle <laughs> when the entries came in. And so Stephanie on our staff put the file together and sent the things to Seattle so she could work from there. And then um, she selected the pieces for exhibition. Then the artist sent the pieces in and the awards were selected from the actual pieces. And we all know if you've entered a lot of shows or even a few shows, oftentimes the photographs or the slides or the images are very different in person than they are electronically. You sometimes don't get a feel for the size of the piece or the texture. And so there are a number of surprises when the pieces came, but good surprises, not negative surprises in this case. So our juror this year was Ruth Mills, and on the handout that we have, it talks a little bit about her biography. I first met her when she was the director of the Richmond Art Museum for 17 years, and then later uh, was the manager of a public television station for Wayne County, and teaches at IU East in art history and communication. So she kind of was in a one-stop person because she could deal with the the verbal part of it as well as the visual part of it. So we appreciated her efforts uh, with us this year. Uh, we have awards uh, to give away. Unfortunately, we have $2,000 in awards. And I've asked two of our board members to come up and they're going to present the awards. And if your name is called, we have certificates for each of the, there are six awards from honorable mentions, third, second, first, and uh, best of show. And the uh, place ones also we will receive a check tonight. So this is Jeannie Atkinson on our board from Community Hospital. And, and Patrick Nanship. And, and Patrick is the Madison County Surveyor. So I'm going to let them start with honorable mentions. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> it's an honor to ask Becky Crosby to come up for Love Me, Love My Doll. Oh, Becky here. And honorable mention for Janelle Driggs, work of art was Love is in the Air. Is she here? Well, around the <laughs> I do, don't I? Yes. Okay. We have third place, Mary Ellen Bertram. Oh my gosh. The work of art is Bird in the Hand. Second place for Iron Out the Details. That's right in there. It's really nice. One. It's really good. So I'll, take that, I'll take that check to make sure she gets it. Okay. <laughs> Me? All right. Now, this is for first place, and oh, I'm going to do this. I'll try. Uh, Katrina Value Value A. Close. <laughs> I, I was coached, but it didn't help, as you can tell. Anyway, your artwork was in the belly of the beast. Congratulations. And the biggest winner is Best of Show, Joe Rorman. It's Joe here. Thank <laughs> you. 
winners of the three, and I'm going to, what we have some work of this person's in our permanent collection, and the others we, or will be new to our collection. And this goes to <laughs> Joseph Rohrman. <laughs> what goes up must come down. <laughs> individual piece and he's filming of course this part right now and you can find that on cable I'm gonna have to ask do you know what channel cable 18 on Comcast 99 on UVerse okay 18 on Comcast 99 on UVerse and then you can also if you don't have either one of those you can also dial it up on the internet so. we post everything on YouTube All right. city of Anderson channel so we wanted to put it in amongst all of the city council meetings and the ribbon cuttings for bridges and things like that, which are all great. We wanted to add a little bit of culture in there too. So, <laughs> so he also uh, may be talking and interviewing some of the artists that are here tonight about your work. So if you have time to stick around a little bit, uh, you may be able to be on TV. So excited. I did want to introduce my staff. In fact, I told somebody the handout. I hadn't even seen the handout yet. I said, I really didn't have anything to do with the certificates, the checks, any of this, because I have a great staff. They took care of everything. So I know some of you have talked to them on the phone, or maybe you called or emailed or something else, but you don't know them by name or by face. So I wanted to introduce everyone that's here. We have Cheryl Mitchell, so they're all kind of back, most of them are back in the She's our administrative assistant, and next to her is Holly Reniker. <laughs> Holly is education, and our curator is Stephanie Michaels. with the artist. The conversation will start at 7 o'clock. The reception will start at 6 
o'clock. And then the day before that, Rebecca is going to lead a workshop for people uh, about her technique with doing the drawings that you see. She has an interesting technique, and I know some of you here tonight have already signed up for that. If you want to sign up for it, just get with Holly before you leave tonight or call back in, uh, and she can fix you up with the details. So enjoy yourselves. There's more music to come, and uh, we're glad to have you here. I'm Joe Rorman. I currently live in Noblesville, Indiana, originally from Indianapolis. Uh, this is all ceramic clay, high-fired uh, stoneware with velvet underglazes. I do this show because a lot of these themes, my themes fit right into this. And, and I'm honored because it's so damn much fun. I mean, you just look at the piece, there, there's no guessing on a lot of these things. You just look at it and say, oh, <laughs> heart of stone. <laughs> so, last year, fork in the road. <laughs> it was, it's, it's very clever. I don't think there's any show around the nation that does this sort of thing. I'm Carol Griffith, and I'm from Cicero, Indiana. It's part of a series called Ladies Who Lunch, and that's primarily what I do. And my ladies are usually disconnected. Women, I notice that women, when they're together, they're not really together. One's looking off this way, and one's looking up here, and even though they're there, they're not really there. And when I married my husband, he said, Carol, you've done this for 25 years. If you don't want to work anymore, you don't have to. And I went, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I went back to school at the Indiana Art Center, took all their courses in watercolor, took all their courses in photography, and so now I'm a photographer, watercolorist, <laughs> and it's wonderful to be able to keep my works on my walls. And then I'll die and my children will take them all to Goodwill. <laughs> I'm, my name is Mary Ellen Bertram and I live in Farmland, Indiana. Well, this is, um, it's a bird in the hand and there's, and, and is worth two, or is, I don't know exactly, a bird in the hand, we'll stay, stay with that. Um, and, when I found out about this show, I looked up figures of speech on the and came and got the whole list. And of course, my brain immediately went to bird of the hand, and I thought of a lovely young person holding a bird and having, you know. So that's how the piece started. I called my daughter and I said, "Excuse me, but do you have a good friend that would pose nude? They have to be thin with." and not well endowed, and she said, I'll find someone for you, Mom. A week later, I'm saying, did you find anyone? She said, no, I forgot about it, how about me? So, this happens to be my daughter, and so she's very proud of it, too, I have to say. So, that's, uh, that's how it came about, and um, being in doing photography for over 30 years, I wanted to do something different, start moving my photography in a different direction, I've always wanted to paint and never really learned how, so I'm kind of embracing that and trying to incorporate that into the photography. And so this was a really wonderful opportunity to experiment. And hey, it worked out well for me. I must admit, I'm very surprised and very honored that, that it actually won an award. I got third place, and there are, and as I say, I'm in some amazing company. There are some beautiful pieces in the show that uh, when I walked in, I'm like, ah, uh, photo photographs or conceptual photographs such as this have usually don't beat out people that have wonderful abilities in watercolor and, and, all, and all that other stuff. Uh, my name is Katrina Valueva. I am originally from New York. That's where I grew up in Brooklyn although I was born in Russia. Um, so I've been in the United States since 1997, and I've been an artist all my life. Uh, professionally, I studied something in medicine, but I've always done things like this, and um, this is my second group show, essentially. I won first place, actually. I'm very honored and surprised <laughs> um, and thrilled <laughs> uh, to receive such an award. and. I, I didn't expect to win anything, <laughs> really. So this piece is in the belly of the beast. Um, the mediums I used are copper, shrink plastic, 
and mica and embossing powders. And in the belly of the beast, the, since it's for the show figures of speech, um, it typically means to be in a bad situation. And I literally interpreted that as having something in the belly of a beast. I chose the fox because it's not typically seen as threatening. And I chose to show something beautiful inside because I think being in the belly of the beast sometimes surprises you. Um, so it's, it's meant to be optimistic that through hardship you can achieve good things. <laughs> and if I could say one more thing, um, since I don't do art for a living yet, <laughs> I don't know if I ever could, but I definitely want to thank the um, Anderson Center for the Arts for giving an opportunity for someone who is not known or didn't even have a formal education, an opportunity to make something and show and share it with others um, and be evaluated on the value of the work. Um, so I'm very grateful and I encourage um, artists, professional and beginning alike to learn more about the center.